If you're looking for a way to bulk up and build muscle, I'm going to show you three ways on just how to do that. Whether if you're someone who's skinny and finds it hard to gain weight, you're trying to add a bit of muscle mass with minimal fat gain, or if you're looking to primarily put on muscle with no additional fat, then keep watching because I'm going to show you just how to do that and how to do it effectively to gain your gains. No matter which bulking style you use, the main aim is muscle gains. If you're just looking to get big, eat whatever, whenever, that's all. But if your main aim is muscle gains, then you're going to need three things to fuel muscle growth. Protein, energy, and water. On top of that, you need time in the gym plus sleep. But no matter which bulking style you use, you need all three. If you want to bulk effectively, you got to learn how many calories you need to maintain your current weight. Body weight times 15. This is your maintenance calories. You eat this amount of calories to not gain or lose weight. For those who are skinny or hard gainers who find putting on any weight as hard, take your body weight and multiply by 16. And I know, you didn't come here for math, but knowing this is important for achieving your goals. So bear with me. To build muscle, we need 2,500 calories to 2,800 calories. Now, whether this is every week, two weeks, or a month, depends on our bulking style. To put on one pound of fat, it takes 3,500 calories, which also means to burn off a pound of fat, it'll take a 3,500 calorie deficit. For those looking to put on minimal body fat or no body fat, this information is important because this means that if we're in a deficit and burning body fat, and one of the three things we need to build muscle is energy, then that means we can burn body fat and put on muscle at the same time, if we do it slowly so that our body doesn't use our muscle gains for fuel. Now for my skinny friends, teenagers, or even beginners, we're going to start with your bulking style. 500. 500 extra calories each gym day. If you weigh 160, your maintenance calories is 2400. Add 500, and now your gym day calories is 2900. Not only do you want additional calories for energy to pack on muscle mass, you also want protein. No matter which bulking style you do, you get in your protein. 1 gram per pound of your gold body weight. Gold body weight is 10 to 15 pounds heavier than you are right now. So, your protein intake is going to be 170 to 175 grams. And yes, that's going to be a lot. So you're going to need to spread out your calories throughout the day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And 2 to 3 protein rich snacks. The rest of the calories can be fats or carbs. Up to you. But for the most part, try to aim for carbs. Now, it's going to be 500 extra calories for each workout day. If you work out 5 times a week, the other 2 days are your maintenance calories. And if you still don't see much change in your physique, add 150 extra calories to your maintenance days. If you work out 4 times a week, the other 3 days are going to be 150 to 250 calories. And don't worry, you'll end up eating those missing 50 calories in one of your meals or snacks. And we gotta make sure we're doing the third step, which is drinking plenty of water. And getting in enough sleep. But this is true no matter which bucket style you follow. If you're looking to put on muscle but don't want to gain a lot of fat, then spread out the 2500 to 2800 calories for muscle building throughout two weeks instead of one week. So instead of trying to put on one pound of muscle each week, it'll be one pound every two weeks for a total potential of two pounds each month. But that doesn't mean you can't put on three pounds each month. Because using the style, we're not only going to eat more, but eat less. And when we eat less, our body uses our fat for energy. And if there's energy, there's potential to grow muscle. The goal here is to eat extra calories on our gym day to fuel our muscle growth and to eat less on our off days. This works whether you're working 3, 4, or 5 days a week. For 2,500 to 2,800 calories for muscle gains over 2 weeks, it's either going to be 1,250 or 1,400 calories each gym day. Just take a screenshot of this section and use the appropriate method for yourself. The math, it's already done for you. The only calculations you need to do is your maintenance calories and adding and subtracting the appropriate calories based on your workout days a week. If you follow this style with enough protein, getting in plenty of energy, and a good amount of water, on top of putting time in the gym and getting proper sleep, you should pack on muscle mass while keeping fat gains minimal. Keep in mind that it's not just about eating enough or getting enough protein, but you need to go to the gym and give your muscles a reason to grow and make sure that the time you spend in the gym isn't wasted. Make it count. This style is recommended not just for those who don't want to put on body fat, but for those who primarily want to focus on training, putting time in the gym and gaining strength. But for the other styles, this is still true. But for this style, it's everything. What we're doing is maintaining our gains while giving our body a proper stimulus in the gym to gain more. This style, it's main gaining. For the spoken style, you don't need much math. Just get your maintenance calories for your current body weight, not your goal body weight. Whatever you weigh right now, that's the amount you're going to eat each day. And I know you're thinking, but I'm not getting in the 2500 to 2800 calories for muscle. You are. It's in your body fat. You're not in a deficit, but you are working hard in the gym. You're pushing yourself. You're getting stronger. Your body will still need more energy because you're burning energy. So, your body's gonna go for your body fat. You're also getting in enough protein, one gram per pound of body weight. If you're someone who's 10% body fat or lower, this method probably doesn't work for you. If you're 15% body fat or somewhere around that range, this style, it works for you. This style is not for everyone, but it is one that anyone can do. But no matter which bulking style you use, you need to put time in the gym. 
but specifically with main gaining, you definitely have to put time in the gym and give it your all. By doing this style, the muscle growth may be slow, but you don't have to go into calorie deficit because you're not putting on any body fat like the other styles. Another way that you can do main gaining is by taking that 2500 to 2800 calories and spreading it out throughout the entire month. You can either add these extra calories for each day or each week you pick a specific day where you'll eat a little bit more calories. Take that 2500 to 2800 and divide it by 4. For the rest of the week, it'll be maintenance calories. And remember, you're still building more muscle mass because you're working out, you're getting stronger, you're moving around, and you're burning body fat. And that body fat is fuel for our muscle gains. If you do end up spreading those calories throughout the entire month, it's only going to be an additional 30 to 40 calories, something that's not easy to plan for, which is why spreading out those calories four times throughout the month is far easier. Whichever style you end up doing, just remember to put time in the gym. It's not just about how much you eat, but training and making progress. Don't waste your time in the gym. Give it your all. That might be adding an extra rep, adding more weight, or it might even mean having better control of the weight. Just make sure you're making progress while you're bulking and you'll notice a difference in your physique in no time. Hasta luego.